Hello and welcome on a clear night here at the Amex Stadium. Great to have you with us. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against Leeds United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And a look at the Leeds United starting 11. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. But if they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the full backs can push on. Let's hope they do that today. And the match begins. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Can they stop it going in? And he clears it out of harm's way. Trossard. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Ailing. Dallas Joel Feldman had a chance to whip it in here well read to win possession back moving forward effectively a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in Harrison and teammates to play it to but strong defending well that is how to nullify the opposition oh that's an interesting pass well back Yves Bissouma has it. He must finish. And foiled only by the crossbar. A goal! 1-0. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, here's the replay. And just look at his reaction to the initial shot. He's so sharp. He deserves that goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. March. Bad pass. Promising looking attack. 
Ailing and space for the cross. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And a decent delivery. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. A very good tackle. Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. Can he play it in? Still not clear. And a time for composure on the ball. Well, making high pressing work for them here. This looks promising. March. But they dealt with the threat posed. Roberts. What can they do from here? Big chance to get them on turns. Oh, he saved it well. And a short corner, let's see. He takes aim. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So back underway following the equaliser. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Trossard. Neil Mopé. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Bamford. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. In it goes! And I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper is wishing quite simply he hadn't done that. Well, just look at this again. What was he thinking? Too slow, too ponderous, and it's cost them a goal here. So back underway at 2-1. Tight three. contest here. Can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. 
Well, running room in the wide position. And let's give credit to the defending. Failed to keep hold of it. Pascal Gross is with Welbeck. And intercepts again. Plenty of options. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Mope. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Well, the stats don't lie. Leeds haven't dictated the play so far. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. Trossard. And there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. And a throw in forthcoming. For Leeds United, coming off the pitch, number 15, Stuart Dallas, to be replaced by number 19, Rodrigo. March. Substitution. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Off the pitch, number two. Luke Ailing to be replaced by number five, Robin Koch. Options in the centre. Surely the equaliser. Well, full credit to him. He had the audacity to try it. Well, that's so close to being a lovely goal. It just doesn't come down in time. Substitution for Brighton. They are committed to making the substitution here. Now a decent position. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Welbeck, top-class defending. There's a slide draw pass, but how well he did to cut that one out. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Ten minutes to go then. stage well that should have been the equalizer I'm not sure they'll get another chance now Number seven. so making the substitution now Well, this game will shortly be history and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, give us your take. Well, it's been close, but I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game. They've just not created enough clear cut Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. Oh, right in the nick of time. On the attack in the closing phase. This could square the game. And no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping.
Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Llorente. Superbly read and executed. And there's the whistle. They can't be separated after 90 minutes.